Hello AI enthusiasts, today I'm going to talk to you about a technological revolution that's redefining the boundaries between reality and artificial intelligence. ByteDance, the company behind TikTok, has developed an AI system called OmniHuman that will fundamentally change your understanding of video production. What's special about this technology is its ability to generate a completely realistic video from a single photo and audio recording. The quality of the results is so convincing that even if you're a media expert, you'll have difficulty distinguishing them from real recordings. The technical foundation for this amazing achievement is a complex neural network that has been trained on over 18,700 hours of video material. But let me explain what this means. Imagine this system has watched and analyzed more video material than a person would in their entire lifetime. It has learned how people move in every conceivable situation, how facial expressions change, how emotions are physically expressed. This massive training enables the system to naturally and convincingly animate not just facial movements, but the entire body. What's particularly impressive is the attention to detail. The system accounts for light reflections on different materials, creates realistic shadows, and even simulates the finest skin textures. It understands how fabrics move, how light interacts with different surfaces, and how shadows change with movement. When you look at the movements, you'll notice they don't appear robotic or artificial but follow natural human movement patterns. Every small gesture, every eyebrow movement, every subtle change in body posture is reproduced precisely and lifelike. A particularly fascinating aspect is the system's ability to capture and reproduce a person's characteristic features. Let's take the simulation of Albert Einstein as an example. What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. So uh, a famous uh, classical poet said, we hate and we love, can one tell me why? Catulus. Uh, science does not answer why questions. The system reproduces not just his characteristic appearance, but also his typical gestures, way of speaking, and even his specific facial expressions. You'll notice how the system perfectly reproduces even his characteristic way of raising his eyebrows or moving his hands while speaking. What sets this technology apart from previous approaches and what you'll really love? It works with minimal input data. While previous systems often require dozens or even hundreds of reference images, OmniHuman can create amazing results from a single photo. This is made possible through an innovative multimodal approach, where different types of input data, images, audio, movement patterns are intelligently combined. The system doesn't just analyze superficial characteristics, but understands the deeper connections between speech, emotion, and movement. If you look closely, you'll see that the system analyzes not just obvious features like facial features or body proportions, but also subtle details like micro expressions and characteristic movement patterns. It understands the rhythm of speech and how it expresses itself in natural movements. The possibilities this technology opens up for you are diverse and extend across different areas. Imagine how historical figures come to life in the education sector. You could watch Marie Curie explaining the basics of radioactivity to students or observe Leonardo da Vinci discussing modern technology. Think about the possibility of bringing history's great thinkers into modern classrooms, hearing their theories from their own mouths, directly experiencing their enthusiasm and passion. Ladies and gentlemen, as a new client of Home Instead and friend and former neighbor of Lori and Paul Hogan, I am so honored to be chosen to offer the invocation this evening. You will become. And I know about this because I had the opportunity to stand on top of the Olympic podium and feel the weight of that gold medal around my neck. And I wouldn't have been there had it not been. In the entertainment sector, you'll discover completely new possibilities for film and series production. You could see deceased actors in new roles or experience historical documentaries enriched with realistic reconstructions. Imagine documentaries where historical figures tell their own stories or educational content delivered through interactive AI-generated characters. The technology can also serve different styles, from photorealistic representations to stylized cartoon-like interpretations. You'll notice that the animation quality consistently remains at an impressively high level. The AI adapts perfectly to any desired style without losing convincingness or naturalness. 
However, you also need to consider the ethical and social implications of this technology. The ability to create deceptively realistic videos of non-existent people or make existing people say and do things they never did carry significant risks. Perhaps you've already heard of concerning examples of similar technology abuse. In Taiwan, fake audio clips of politicians trying to influence the election campaign were circulated. In South Africa, manipulated videos appeared of celebrities making political statements they never made. And these are just the cases that became publicly known. The financial consequences of such deceptions will shock you. Experts estimate that AI-generated fakes led to fraud losses of over $122 billion in 2023 alone. This figure includes various types of fraud, from fake celebrity endorsements to sophisticated phishing attacks with AI-generated videos. But how do we produce food without destroying nature? How do we deliver to 10 billion people affordable, nutritious, and sustainable food? Even more dramatic figures are predicted for the future. By 2027, annual losses from AI-assisted fraud in the United States alone could rise to $40 billion. These predictions are based on the expected development of the technology and the increasing proliferation of deepfakes. If you look at the social effects, you'll see they're also concerning. A recent survey shows that 72% of people fear being deceived daily by deepfakes. This concern isn't unfounded as the technology develops faster than corresponding regulations and protective measures. The speed of this development poses enormous challenges for society and legislators. You should know that various US states have already enacted the first laws against AI deception, but uniform standards and regulations are still lacking at national and international levels. Existing laws often lag behind technological development and must be constantly adapted. The central challenge will be finding a way to use the positive aspects of this technology while preventing abuse. This requires not just technical solutions like digital watermarks or AI detection systems, but also social and legal frameworks. It's about developing authentication mechanisms, creating trust standards, and establishing ethical guidelines for using this technology. And if you look at the overall situation, you'll realize we must find a balance between innovation and security, between creative freedom and protection against manipulation. Finding this balance will be one of the greatest challenges in the coming years. ByteDance with OmniHuman has undoubtedly set a technological milestone that has the potential to enrich different areas of your life, from entertainment to education and personal communication. The technology opens unexpected possibilities for creative expression and digital interaction. At the same time, you, as part of society, must learn to handle these new possibilities responsibly and find ways to promote their positive aspects while protecting yourself from potential danger. Right. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.